Dear fellow activists, I wish to convey my warmest greetings of solidarity to you as officers and members of Anakbayan Europa as you celebrate your fourth anniversary and hold your General Assembly. I salute you and congratulate you for all your successes in arousing, organizing, and mobilizing the Filipino youth in so many countries of Europe. I am proud of and gratified with cooperating with you in carrying out as many as 14 webinars on the Marxist-Leninist classics and as many as 16 webinars on the Philippines under the auspices of the ND Online School during the COVID-19 pandemic. These webinars have the immediate effect of raising the level of ideological and political education of your current membership and will have greater and wider effect on more youth and other people as the videos and the texts are published and distributed in the Philippines and worldwide. I'm confident that your General Assembly will enable you to sum up your experience, learn lessons, and set forth the tasks that will make your national chapters stronger and uh, your Europe-wide leadership more effective than ever before. It is necessary for you to strengthen your ranks ideologically, politically, and organizationally to be able to uphold, defend, and advance your rights and interests as Filipino youth in Europe and contribute what you can to the struggle of the Filipino people for national and social liberation and to the patriotic movement to oust the Duterte regime which is inflicting grave suffering on them. Even as you are in Europe, there is a lot that you can do to help our compatriots in our motherland to get rid of a tyrannical, traitorous, murderous, corrupt, and mendacious regime that is aggravating the crisis of the semi-colonial and semi-feudal ruling system and escalating the conditions of oppression and exploitation. You can spread the information and truth about the Philippines and use all possible means of communication in order to promote the unity of the overseas Filipinos against the evil regime of Duterte and seek the solidarity of the host people and guest peoples in Europe. You can launch campaigns and activities to realize programs and projects by which Anakbayan Europa and other organizations and institutions in solidarity with you to cooperate with Anakbayan Philippines in extending moral and political support and assistance to the Filipino youth and people who are in need of this due to the oppression and exploitation that they suffer. You can call the attention of the European Union, the national governments and peoples to the gross and systematic violation of human rights, the rampage of state terrorism and the lack of social services in the face of the pandemic and the natural disasters. You can ask that sanctions be imposed on the Duterte regime and discourage it from repressing the people. You can point out to the EU that it has anomalously and unjustly listed revolutionary forces in the Philippines as terrorists, despite the fact that these have never engaged in any single act of terrorism against any European country. This EU terrorist listing is now being used by the Duterte regime as an endorsement of its reign of terror and greed. As you sum up your experience and your current situation in Europe, you can recognize the problems and needs of the Filipino youth and people and set forth a task for you to implement for their benefit. I wish your General Assembly the utmost success in strengthening the Nakba in Europa and winning ever greater victories for the benefit of its membership, the youth in general, and the Filipino people. Long live Anakbayan Europa and the Filipino youth. Intensify the struggle against the Duterte regime. Advance the Filipino people's struggle for national and social liberation. Long live the Filipino people. Long live international solidarity.